this shoulder injury, which took me out all of last season. I tore the cartilage off the shoulder socket, which was quite painful. It's good, but I'm still a little bit cautious with it. I need to be very careful, keep with the exercises for that. I'm recovering right now from a back injury, which kept me out of the Lucerne World Cup, which was a real, real disappointment for me. It's been hard, but the rehab's going really well and I'm pleased to be announced in the crew for the World Championships and I look forward to that. With the partnership with the London Clinic, it means now I have a licence to ring up and the London Clinic very obligingly do things as quickly as they can. And in terms of sport, particularly at the elite level, it needs to be yesterday, so the partnership is working very well. If a row is now injured and they require an MRI scan, they can have that and the images are immediately available. And then we're in a position to discuss what's best to be done and to institute it immediately. Early diagnosis is definitely so key for us. And for me, I mean, I'm, I'm not a medical person, I don't know all the details, but the MRI scan seemed like the gold standard to me. So, you know, the, the sooner we can go and get a scan, once we've got an injury, the better, really. And then you know exactly what you're dealing with. There's no guesswork. Anyone participating in any sporting activities is going to be prone to injuries. Whether they're an elite sportsman, a woman, or an amateur athlete, Diagnosing that injury early is of absolutely paramount importance. If it's not diagnosed, it's very likely that the athlete will continue participating, will cause further problems, secondary problems will happen as a result of their compensation for the injury they've sustained. So early diagnosis is used to head off these injuries at the time of the injury or as soon as possible thereafter, and then appropriate treatment can be instituted. Well, tips with dealing with and avoiding injuries is make sure that you're flexible enough, that you do your stretching, that you're well warmed up and prepared to do the exercise you're going to do. Take a sensible approach to your training, basically. Listen to who's coaching you. They're going to try and put you in the safest positions when you're training to try and keep your body safe. You've got to do things to try and stop yourself being weak in the first place. So we do lots of things like trunk strengthening, so strengthening all around here, strengthening the lats and all that sort of stuff to give you support keeping on top of your own personal self so in terms of stretching identifying if there's a problem like if, once you've had an injury you know what the precursors are so if you feel that happening you immediately get yourself into physio you get yourself in to see a doctor you have to listen to your body and getting pain and it's starting to hurt that is your body telling you that you need to back off it took me a while to learn that you have to do it you can't just plow through it because you just make it worse and it means that you have to sit out for longer if you feel something's wrong probably is, so go and get it checked out.